All right, what's going on, party people? Uh, it's your boys from a uh, random shirt. Oh, what? You did not know that it's boys in random shirt? Yeah, it's not just one dude making content. We're actually a bunch of other people, but all the other other bunch of people didn't make stuff, including me. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna be showing you uh, how to find out the combination to this master lock. Now, uh, what I'm gonna be telling you may apply to other uh, kind of like wheel locks where you go through uh, the different digits, uh, but uh, there is a different method for like this kind of lock, like the dial. Uh, I know how to do that if you guys wanna learn or learn that. Uh, from me, I don't know, you can Google it, but if you wanna learn it from me, uh, let me know, leave a, leave a like or a comment or smash that like button. Uh, this model, this is the model 4688D from Master. And I did not write that on my whiteboard. I remember that. Um, when I was trying to first look up the name of the specific lock to try to figure out the combination, I saw on the bottom, it says TSA 007. Now, that does not mean that it was formerly owned by Sean Connery. That means that uh, the TSA has a certain amount of keys. And they have seven keys. Each key can open uh, these locks that have like this like red symbol on them. It means that it's like TSA approved. TSA can go through luggage if they want. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah, this is more of a luggage lock to use for that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, if you want to, you can try to pick this. I don't know why you'd want to, because I feel like the combination is easier and it's better. I don't know, whatever. I don't know how to do that. So, have at it. You get a bobby pin or something. With this specific model, um, if you notice, there's two different uh, attachments here. So, this one, if you were to unlock it with the key it comes out from this side, right? This part unlocks. Um, if you unlock the combination, it'll come out of this side. When I first tried to find out the combination, I just went through each uh, thing. So I went from 000, 000, 001, 002, and I just kept on testing them. For some reason, I went all the way to 99. It took me like an hour. Um, I did not find it out. I don't know how. I don't, I don't know how that's physically possible, but whatever. Uh, this method is how I figured it out. So, um, if you have a different type of lock, you can still follow along, and hopefully it'll work. Um, if not, I don't know what to tell you. If you're using this lock, uh, the way that you apply tension is by grabbing here and pushing inward. Because the way that you take it out is that you push inward and then up. If you see in here, come on. Uh, this little thing will go down and will allow this thing to be free. Uh, I'll show you when we unlock it. Uh, same here, but we're not worrying about that because that works with the key. Um, if you are having some other type of lock, uh, let's say if it's just like pretend that this is like a dial down here. I may show a picture. Well, that's a picture. Um, if you have it like this, the way that you apply tension is like this. You pull up. Uh, I don't know. I, I like to do it like that. You push up with the finger. Push up like that. Yeah. So you first apply tension the way I do it on... Uh, I hold it like that, and I kind of press in with my finger. It kind of hurts after a while, but that's okay. So, all right, let me get a close look right here. So, oh, no, it's 666. Oh, no, I'm going to die. So, for most locks, when you apply tension, right, the first digit will become locked, and it will be hard to move. But uh, you can move it. I don't know why. For some reason, this is the only lock uh, I've seen do this. This is also the only lock that I have, but don't worry about that. Um, the last digit is locked when I apply tension. Well, it's not locked, but it's, it's hard to move. You see? See, I'm trying really hard to move it, and it's only moving a little bit. Um, so, for this lock, you move from the third number up. Um, for some, some of them, you move from the first number down. Figure out which one it is, and from there, you want to go to the next number, which in this case is the second number. I don't know if it'll be different. So now uh, you want to apply tension again and try out the, the number next to the one that's locking. And if you see here, this spins freely. This means, so when this spins freely, that indicates that this number is incorrect. So the digit five is incorrect. I know I'm holding this upside down, but that's the best way uh, you can do it. So this indicates that five is not the, the correct digit. So you turn it to four, test it again, apply tension, moves freely, that means that's not the correct number, 
three. Oh, that's not the correct number. Two. Nope. Nope. See, I'm pressing down really hard. And I can't move it. Zero. What? Oh, I cannot turn it, dude. What's going on here? Well, okay, so since I cannot turn it, that means that this digit is zero. Now, that's good. Um, now we can do the same method and work our way up. Now, let me try out this digit with this one. Now I can turn it freely. Let me move more. Nope. It's not eight. It's not nine. I tried zero. Uh, that's not one. Two. Oh, hold up. There you go. So now it opened. Combination is a uh, 420. Uh, smoke them if you got them, right? As you can see here, see, let me put it back in. The way that you take it out is you press inward like that. See, that opens up and you can take this out. Cool stuff. Uh, putting it in is way harder. I don't know why. Let's apply a lot of force for no reason. So yeah, that is how you figure out the combination to this type of master lock 4688D. Um, it may be different for different kind of, uh, of these wheel locks. Uh, let me know. And if you, if this helped you out, awesome, dude, give us a like. We probably haven't had a like in years because we haven't made a video in years. Uh, if this didn't help you, uh, do some more Googling. Uh, Thank you, and good night.